it's time for sports and here is Ryan Dunn. Ryan. Thank you Roger. We're going to start things off with your favorite sport, boxing. And a local club held a major fight night, much to the delight of local boxing fans and aficionados. Here's more on the fight to be top dog in the SOG. Mississauga's Combat Arts Training Academy held a 12-bout card this past weekend pitting their own boxers against fighters from various other clubs. The large crowd saw an action-packed day of fighting with both male and female boxers including Combat Arts' Lizette Gonzalez, who was upset by Mandy Exodi of St. Catharines. And the winner in the blue corner, Mandy Exodi! I was actually pretty relaxed going in, but uh, you know, once you get in there, you can never tell what your opponent's like. And uh, she was kept hitting me with the right hand, and I was open for it. So, um, like I said, you never know what's going to happen in there. You can go in as focused as you want, but you win some, you lose some, and I lost. I train about seven days a week for about an hour and a half every day. So my cardio level is really high, but when you get in there, you're nervous. Um, your legs get tired, and um, it just goes by really fast. It's only um, three two-minute rounds, but they go by really fast, and you get really, really tired really easy. Also on the card was Lexton Bates, a combat arts boxer in the 148-pound class, who won his bout against Ahmad Shukrik with a flurry of punches that included a very rare knockdown. A wonderful fight. Uh, went through the three rounds with the long distance. Took him out at the end of the third round. Um, you know, it was, it was a very good fight. I couldn't do it without my coaches, Sterling and Raph. You know, they've been with me from day one. Helped me through everything. Um, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Combat Arts is continuing to raise its profile, with a member already winning a Muay Thai title this month and another participating in a major Ultimate Championship mixed martial arts card and also a stable of good young boxers who have national potential. And you can score this event a knockout. So some good fighting action there. And overseas, the Pan Am Games locals Dan Casca and Chris Jarvis and Shannon Condy have won medals in their respective sports. Casca and Jarvis, who both train at the Don Rowing Club in Port Credit, struck gold convincingly at the Pan Ams in the 2,000-meter partners race in rowing, winning by 10 seconds over second place. Condi had a silver medal after falling to Mexico's Irida.